Hello Pisces, welcome to another WLC Weekly Love Connections reading. Alright, for the coming week, and it's um, Leo season, it's time to make things happen, Pisces. To all my subscribers, thank you for stopping by once again. All right. So this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see what's going on. Pisces in love. Um, all right. Oh. Queen of Coins, Ten of Wands, Hangman, the person that you're dealing with. We have the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Swords, and the Five of Cups, King of Cups, the Star, Page of Wands, Five of Wands, Ten of Coins, Eight of Swords, Palace of Wands, the Tower, High Priestess, the Sun. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Swords. All right, so this reading, as Seth always mentioned, the WLC is particularly for those of you who are wanting insights about the person that you're dealing with. So I would be reading your energies right here, and this would be their energies for this week. And energies could um, span for, like, for some of you, this could already be happening. And for some of you, it could probably be for this week or so. And guys, this is general reading. All right. <clears throat> so Pisces. Um, all right. Welcome to Leo season. <laughs> Pisces, you are now in a position where... Things may have been very burdensome to you. Things may have been very um, challenging in the past. But now you are coming in with this energy where you do realize your value in a connection that you have invested on. You also realize the value of that connection that you're in. Whether it's low value or high value, you alone knows about that. All right? And you're... You're sticking to your guns here. I feel that no matter what happened in the past, you're still somehow holding on to that... Um, you're still holding on to what you hold dear in this connection. Even if it has burdened you so much, you're still holding on to it, Pisces. Yeah? Because you definitely, I feel, because you know in your heart and in your mind that um, this connection is something that you can very well nurture. But the way I'm seeing right here too is that you are wanting to um, see or to, to be able to put something into this connection to address the burdens, to address the... Um, the difficulties you're even trying to see things from different perspective and it's pretty much giving you difficult and sleepless nights because you know that you value this connection you know what you can put on the table for this connection but apparently it is burden it's um, giving you so much burden primarily because in every connection you need the other person to participate yes but if they're not participating now you need to hang yourself upside down to see things from different perspective. Is it the right time to... Should Could I really let this go? You're thinking about that. Or could I still make things work? And that is very challenging for you now, Pisces. You're not able to see just yet a clearer perspective of things. Yeah? Because you're pretty much... You see value in this deep connection you have. You value it. You're even willing to put stability, you, you, to bring back stability and um, good foundation in this connection. If this is a marriage, I feel that um, you're wanting to work things out. If, if the person you're dealing with wants you to be able to cook for them every day, for an example, you're even thinking about, yeah, I can learn cooking. 
I can check more YouTube videos to cook for you. <laughs> Just a um, joke aside, guys, okay? So you see the value, you're burdened by it, but you know that on your side, you can make things work. It's just that um, the other person needs to participate as well. And then now you're just seeing, okay, should I finally let this go? Because I feel that you don't have problems on your own letting these things go, looking for another partnership perhaps. That's not a problem for you. It's just that you know that this, you held this connection very valuable that you don't want to let this go. Because there's that potential there. You see that potential in this partnership <clears throat> based on your intuition, probably, as a Pisces. All right? And that willingness of you working things out. The person that you're dealing with, um, Pisces, they have... I feel that this person has long walked out. They have emotionally withdrawn from this connection long before today i think they have done that they have turned their back from this connection for some of you this person may have already found someone they may have, they may have already um like back in in their usual or you know back into sneaking around if you've been talking and then if this person is saying that um, they are not with someone, they're still blah, 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 they're, they're trying to paint you a picture of um, how they want you to see things, yeah? But definitely this person has been sneaking around. They've been um, doing things that they're not letting you know. By the fact that they have walked around, basically that means that their emotions, their minds, and their hearts were not focused on you, Yeah? But at some point, this person also regretted the part, that part of them doing it. There's that um, regret. They regret it. And honestly, I, what I'm getting here is that even if this person has been dating around, if you're not committed, if they're, they've been cheating or... Well, if you're not committed, that's not cheating, right? But if, let's say, they've been sneaking around, they've been telling you that they've been nice, they've been um, not dating around, but actually they do. Even if they hook up with other people, they're not seeing that um, value in that as well. It's just um, getting, getting them through day to day. Because what they truly regret right now is the past with you. Like that togetherness you've had in the past, the Three of Cups. They've felt supported. They've felt um, happiness with you. Probably the experience that you've had in the past is, is different. And then they're regretful about it, even after walking out. They may have met a new person, but um, at the back of their minds, they're still thinking about what you've had together. It's just that there, this is all in their mental and heart space, but actual action, this person is um, isolating themselves from you, not because they want, not because um, for some probably good reasons, but basically they're just isolating themselves because they want to do them do what they want in isolation yeah for some of you this person may also be playing mind games with you I feel that you're probably dealing with an Aquarius here seven of swords for some of you strong okay um, Pisces this person knows that you love them and this person feels can feel that and um, they know that you're hoping for things to, they view you as someone who is hoping that things can be resolved, things can be healed between the two of you, and that um, no matter how deep your emotion is towards them, they, you may not show it now, but they know that you're just trying to hold back. Mm -hmm. And this person is conflicted about reaching out. They may want to. They may want to start something with you. Um, 
discussion, new creative passion. You know, if you have been um, working together in the past, if you have some common um, hobbies, common goals, this person may want to ignite that um, communication. They may want to work things out, but they're conflicted about doing so. Yeah. And they want, <laughs> this is also funny because they want stability with you. They want long term stability and security, like a, like a stable life with you. But they're just not, they just don't know what to do. They're stuck in their head. You could be dealing with an air sign here who keeps on just being in their head and processing things out. And I feel that this is a beautiful energy, but coupled with this energy, I feel that um, this is a person who has gone through this analysis paralysis kind of thing. You just keep on analyzing things out. Probably if they're playing mind games towards you, then they're stuck. Because anything long-term, anything that could give you long-term success, if that is, this is in their hopes, right? Anything that could give you long-term success and stability need not actually be always done through mind games. At some point, you just have to come forward with honesty. Yeah, Let go of those mind games so you don't get stuck in your mind. This person needs to know that. So if you know that person, maybe you can share this video. <laughs> yeah, so definitely, if they want long-term stability and security, and then this person spent too much time thinking, analyzing things, how to go about their way of going through that stability, this is a partnership. You need to work things out together. There's no, it's not a one-man show here. One man show is because they're wanting to play mind games to win at the end. Yeah. Especially Pisces, they know that you have feelings for them and they know that you are very much hopeful about you have double Aquarius here and this is you. So this is um this person knows how you feel about them and it, they could feel that um they have that leverage of playing mind games with you, which is not a very good energy to dwell on. And now when it comes to wanting stability and security, that's where you get that's where they got stuck. And probably for some of them, they're still conflicted of reaching out because they have walked away. So they might think that, okay, to hell with it if it doesn't work based on their own mindset, if it doesn't work, they can go and um, find someone else. That's a very um, easy way, but um, a more coward, cowardly way of dealing with things, right? Especially if um, they know that you are hoping and you have this deep connection towards them. Pisces, they regret about this connection of what happened but I don't see them doing forward movements towards you, even an apology or even like, you know, an effort of reconnecting. This person is too conflicted and um, conflicted, playing mind games as well as can easily detach. Like a little bit of a self um, centered kind of person you're dealing with here for some of you all right and um, for the actions here there's gonna be all right with this energy right here um, I feel that this person now is gonna be tapping on this energy right here that um, wanting to cultivate passion it could be in their new endeavors it could also be towards this connection all right so they would be um, thinking of what are the good things that they could actually do towards this connection. And it's going to be a sudden move, Pisces. There's going to be some sudden changes relating to that. And that change is driven by passion for desire to create new things, for desire to manifest new things passionately from, from that creative side of them. It's a sudden change. Yeah, You may not be expecting this. 
but there's going to be that sudden change. All right. Pisces, here you are. The outcome here, for most of you, the outcome here is that things are going to be coming out in the open. If there is any hidden agenda, that's going to come out, whether you like it or not, or whether they like it or not. It's going to come out, and you know. Even if it's not actually out yet, I feel, Pisces, you know that based on your um, intuition. You know that already by heart and by mind. It's just that you're not talking about it. You're not even confronting them about it. Why? Because you wanted a, a successful outcome with this connection. Because apparently this connection, you have high hopes for this. And you feel that you're going to be happy. This, is, this gives you happiness, Pisces. Yeah, That's the outcome there. And for this person, um, they know that the only way to make this work is to just come out. Just come out with whatever is hidden, whatever they feel, and what they want from this connection. Just say it out loud. Because even if they're not doing it, you already know, Pisces. It's just that this person is um, yeah, probably operating on their own, very much in a very isolated. Could be, um, you know, Aquarius, we say they're pretty much um, free-spirited, but I feel that this is a bit of a the dark side of it, where they want to do things on their own, hiding things out, playing mind games perhaps, yeah, for some of you. But this is the energy right here with the star and the sun, this could lead to a very beautiful outcome, beautiful and joyous outcome, if only energies could align. Because now the underlying energy we have here, I see, oh wow, it's double heartache here. We have two, th three of swords right here, right? And somebody is still holding on to this, no matter how painful that was, or things has happened between the two of you someone is still holding on and still wanting to have a start and there's going to be healing here Pisces the underlying energy for this connection is that there's going to be healing there's going to be this new start and more clarity with regards to what has happened in the past and moving forward to have that new beginning in love in emo new emotional beginning there's going to be that clarity minus the emotional biases of things of what has happened in that during that breakup. So if you are dealing with an air sign here, and if this energies could align, this could possibly have a good, uh, yeah, this could possibly have a good um, outcome here. And I want to extend this for because it's Leo season. I want to see more of Leo season is where we act on things, right? So I want to delve deeper into the their actions, feelings, and um, possible outcome, as well as advice, Pisces. And why is it that even if they regret, we don't see much of actual moves right here? So I want to bring that into the extended version. And the link will be in the description box below for those of you who are interested to see the extended. And um, But for now... Um, to close this reading, um, I want to see messages from the person you're dealing with, Pisces. What do they want you to know? A lot of signs are pointing to you lately. Okay. That's good. Now they started to think about you. They may have walked out. They may have been with two to three people in between. But, um, yeah. Yeah energy is coming back am I good enough for you you know Pisces this could be a reason they may be regretting what has happened to both of you in the past and they're not moving forward it's because maybe they think that you deserve better they may not be able to give you from their perspective they feel that um, you deserve something better someone better but we can delve on that deeper in the um, extended Even though I don't show it, I am sorry for how things went between us. Oh, that's lovely. At least. But sometimes it's good, really, for them to show it, right? <laughs> Pisces. 
I feel too much pressure right now. This could be on their own priorities and um, other responsibilities, yes? All right, Pisces, um, for those of you who are um, not going to the extended, I hope you, got, you have gotten more insights. If this resonates, let me know in the comment section below. Hit like, hit like and subscribe as well as the bell notification so you get notified whenever I post videos. For those of you who are wanting to see the extended version for how this transpires during the Leo season, the link is below in the description box. If this is where we part ways, Thank you for stopping by.